we've um, been um, working with virtual reality immersive training for a number of years and we have um, a significant number of uh, major projects in all corners of the world, over 10 major references where customers are using immersive virtual reality to enhance how they're uh, delivering uh, their training programs for their customers and delivering operational excellence. Um, so uh, in, in, in the Middle East, in Asia Pacific, we have a, a significant number of, uh, of large training projects using virtual reality. So for oil and gas facilities, but not only that, for, for the power industry, for nuclear, um, we have some um, discrete industry applications. So it, the, the, the beauty about virtual reality is you can apply it from anything from a small piece of equipment through to an, an entire site. So we have a project in China, um, the customer is rather uh, secretive about what they're doing so we, we can't actually show that in any of our um, videos but they have an entire facility um, modelled in, in high, high quality virtual reality. With immersive training, what we're able to do is extend what we've done for the past 20 or more years for the uh, control room operator, providing a simulation-based uh, uh, training environment for them to practice on standard operating procedures or emergency operating uh, cases, abnormal uh, plant behavior, and bring that to the field operator. So allow them to have a, a platform um, to be able to train um, with real simulation-based scenarios so that they can um, interact with the plant as if they were in the real plant and run through anything from uh, standard operation procedures to emergency preparedness training. And then connecting that back to the, the control room um, because a lot of operations on the plant um, include both uh, control room operators and the field operator working together as a team. So you're able to see how they interact together and prepare the team ready for any scenario on the plant. There's huge buzz in the industry about augmented reality, virtual reality, and, and we, um, we see the, the power of, of what you can put in a mobile device um, in the consumer industry. That same technology can enhance how operators um, can carry out their daily life. So building upon the, um, the, the mobile platforms and the, 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 the uh, enterprise asset management uh, technology that Schneider already have within the, uh, the Avantis brand, we're able to augment that with um, augmented reality for the field operator for their mobile devices to give them the right information at the right time um, in, in the context using the, 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 the power of augmented reality. this huge huge potential for AR and VR to help um, people visualize the, the large amounts of data that they have in their plant. So um, in addition to providing traditional ways of interfacing with the data using um, technologies such as the Microsoft HoloLens or other ways of visualizing that data, you're able to create a new way of, of um, interacting and visualizing the data and operating in a, in a smarter way. When it comes to, certainly with immersive virtual reality training, um, Schneider Electric kind of invented the market. We were the first to bring a, an industrial product. Through the recent acquisition of MW Power Lab, Schneider Electric now have access to some of the, uh, the greatest virtual reality and augmented technology uh, available in the, in the market. We've been working with MW for um, five years now and they've homed their virtual reality, augmented reality technologies ready for the industry. And uh, we're now able to, through the acquisition, then use that technology to enhance the whole portfolio of the software um, group, from the uh, SimSci brands to the Avantis brands to the, um, um, the Wonderwear brand. And since that time, we've been um, enhancing the technology and honing it, working with our customers, understanding their problems, understanding how they want to implement it. And now the technology is, is at such a high level, it's difficult really for the competitors to compete. 